There's a neat looking rock over there. Whoa, this is pretty steep. I think I may camp around here somewhere tonight. Uh-oh, those dreaded humps. Getting close. Oh, that's where I'm going later. Well, it's not as busy as I expected, but there are quite a few people around. Strangely enough, most of the people are Filipinos. I just met some beautiful penis. What's? Are you a model? No, no. She's, she's a model. No. She's a mask model. Hi. <laughs> Every, nice to meet you. Everywhere you go, there's happy Filipinos. <laughs> One more. Can I photo bomb? Hi. 
So what's your name? My name is Ali. Ali, are you Saudi? This is Saudi Arabia. Oxen Bilal Saudi? Hey. Oh, and a, and a Kennedy. Kebhale, Kebibi. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Oh, how old are you? I'm fine, thank you. How old are you? Oh, uh, Hadash. Uh, Hadash? Eh. Hey, yeah. Oh, I don't know Hadash. Uh, 15, no, no, no. 16? Yeah. 15. 10. 15. 15. Hey. Yeah, you're 15. Okay. Where where do you live? Are you from Hufuf or Jubail? No, or? no, no. Katif, Katif. Oh, Katif, uh, Jubail. Okay. Yep. Uh. All right. But in December, in the winter, it's quite. Uh, it's probably warmer.
11 o'clock Friday and this place is just getting busy. Look at all the tour buses. Prayer time. Well, let's set up the seat with my chair. I'm car camping, so size and weight is not an issue. <laughs> All the comforts of home. It's quarter to four. It'll be dark at uh, around 5.15. So today I was in Hofuf at the Alcora mountain and cave. I'm camping uh, on Hofuf Highway, I guess you could say it is. So I'm just going to get myself all organized. <laughs> I have internet access here, so it's like it's luxury. And since I'm car camping too, things are a little bit easier than uh, if I was hiking. I want to make sure the fire is uh, is burning well by the time it gets dark. So that's why I'm going to light it now. Ancient Canadian fire starting secret. Bic lighter. And these cubes I buy locally. They're for lighting barbecues. They're great.
This is the old teepee style. Now I haven't decided uh, how I'm going to sleep tonight, whether it'll be cowboy camping like I did last week on a ground sheet, right on the ground, or my tent without the rain fly. It all depends on the bugs. So if there seems to be a lot of bugs and stuff around, I'm going to use the tent. Basically it's just a, a big mosquito net, so I'll still be able to see the stars. Otherwise, I will sleep on the ground. That's actually what I prefer to do, sleep on the ground. My tent. I recently uh, treated it with permethrin, which is an insect repellent, so it's guaranteed that bugs won't bother me. Remember last week I was camped right beside the water, so there was a lot of mosquitoes. There won't be any mosquitoes here, there may just be some flies. Well, there are a lot of flies around, so I think I'm going to set up the tent. Quite a few little, little pebbles around, but there's no pricklies anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. I always use a ground sheet. It adds a little bit of protection to the bottom of the tent. It 
this is my two person uh, Big Agnes Copper Spur HBUL2. This is fairly new compared with my uh, UL1, my one person. I like the extra room that this one affords. Even for one person, it's, uh, it's nice. With my one person, I couldn't really store, stow much gear inside the tent. You know, with this one, I have a lot of extra room on the side. Ah, you can see the best side of me, eh? <laughs> My fat bum. My UL1, it doesn't have this cross member. The UL2 does, obviously. And these are freestanding tents, which means you don't have to have them pegged down for them to stand. I mean, in a wind, or you need to peg them down, or, or in the desert, I use tend to use rocks if I can't get the pegs in. But it's not windy at the moment, and once you get a bit of weight inside, like your uh, mat and stuff, you don't really need need to peg it. That wasn't difficult. Okay, let's inflate my Big Agnes AXL Trail Boss. I love this sleeping pad. As I've said, it's bulky and it's heavy, but when weight and size isn't an issue, this is the most comfortable thing going. And it's nice and durable.
This is a really light sleeping bag, an X-Ped, a summer bag. It's not cold enough yet for uh, my others. And my bulky pillow. I love this thing. It's a thermorest. It's I believe this is a medium size. And lastly, just a cheapie I bought locally at a hardware store called Sackle. I call this my base pillow because this is the one I put down first. So I put my yam or sweet potato on the fire. That'll probably only take about half an hour. Now this chicken, I uh, parboiled it, so it'll cook a little bit faster. Oh, that yam is nicely cooked. Look at that. It doesn't matter if the outside gets burnt because you don't eat it. Time to eat. In the dark. It's only 534. But the sun is down. Let's start with a piece of this yam. It's very soft. Oh, is that hot? Mmm. Sweet potato is really good. The thing I like about sweet potatoes for camping is they cook quite a bit quicker than uh, potatoes. Mmm, my chicken is good. I parboiled the chicken for about, these are chicken pieces and they're not that big, for about 20 minutes. Almost cooked. So then the barbecue just heats them up and puts the crisp on. For dessert, raspberries with milk.
That's my ebook. It's not quite six o'clock. I am reading the latest Grisham novel, A Time for Mercy. It kind of follows up A Time to Kill. In fact, I was listening to A Time to Kill as an audiobook on my way here from Jubail. This noise just started up. Nine o'clock. At least it's not too loud and it's consistent. Good morning. It's 5.28. It's just becoming light. It's about 17 degrees right now. Time to get up. I set up the tent last night because when I first got here there's quite a few flies. But after sunset the flies disappeared. So I could have just as easily cowboy camped. I kept this uh, door open all night. There's quite a few stars. It's a half moon which is right above me right now. Pants. Some of you may say trousers, I say pants. I always find it easier getting dressed in bed. Doing it like this rather than standing up. Adidas Terex hiking shoe. Quick lace. These are great. There's a good rolling boil. I usually use three scoops because I make two brews or two cups. One, two, three. Eh, just a little bit for good measure. Fresh coffee. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, it's 6.30. Time to hit the road. From here, it'll probably only take me a couple hours to get back to uh, Jubail. Uh, there's some fresh scat. I'm guessing it's maybe the dog. Even though it's pretty small, maybe it was a small dog. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Another one done and dusted. Until I see you again, take care now.